Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm a contributor here at DirtyShirt.info. I mentioned on some of the other plumbing videos that we have on the site that um, our bathroom or our sinks rather you know, typically don't give us any problems. As soon as I said that, we started having some problems with the bathroom here. And the bathroom is in the process of being remodeled, um, but we still need the sink to work. Uh, so we ran into a clog, and I want to show you how I solved that problem, which um, it, it worked wonderfully. So let's take a look at what we've got here, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, so sink, right, it clogged up. Uh, it has this uh, um, drain stopper in it, which I removed, okay, underneath. Uh, there's actually uh, some bits and pieces that have to be undone and then redone so that it doesn't leak water. So I did remove that so that we had just a hole to work with right here. Uh, what would happen is after about uh, 15 seconds of just running water, it would start to back up in the sink and it was a real slow clog. Uh, what I did was um, I took a, a, a standard plunger. I tried to plunge. I got a bunch of junk out of it. Uh, it, it didn't fix the problem. Um, we talked about how some other alternatives that we might have. What I came up with, with was uh, I wanted to use air pressure in order to clear the clog. There are a number of tools that are available and they're pretty costly. Uh, I did not want to pull the, the plumbing apart to snake it out. That's like the last thing that I wanted to do. Uh, it's messy, hard to do, and, uh, and we may end up doing that later on. I'm, I'm just not sure. But for right now, um, we just clean this out and I'll show you what I, I did to do that. Um, why don't you just pan back for a second and I'll show you what I've got here. Is I went to the store and I cobbled this together. It took me about probably 45 minutes to figure out exactly how I, I might do this. This length of uh, tubing, which is one and a quarter inch, by the way, uh, it fits really, really tightly down into the, the, the corresponding drain hole. I also beveled this a little bit. You can see relative to when it's straight up, and that'll help feed it into the, the drain hole down here. Um, and it, it, you know, so you give it some twisting and you give it some muscle and it'll, it'll actually stay. So we have this tube um, and I took a piece of plastic, uh, it screwed into this, I clamped it. There was a, a hose fitting on this part of this white piece sticking out. I attached this. So you can see we stepped out from large to smaller to smaller to finally where I could get to it in an air hose uh, quick connect. Uh, on the end here and obviously everything is clamped there's there's no you know mystery about that and um, I put that together this morning and it, amazingly it, it, it came together and worked what we did was um, because water does water does not compress air does what I wanted to do was get this the sink and the plumbing the backup filled up with water it'll eventually drain through if we leave it leave it sit but I don't want air in there because the air will compress I want the air to push the clog through the compressed air to push the clog through, but we'll use the water in order to do that. So what we did was we ran the water until this backed up in the sink. Then I took the beveled edge, I crammed that down inside here. Now this sink has a uh, an overflow, so it, it can't come out um, over the top of the vanity here. Uh, so what I had to do is, is have a helper plug this hole, okay, so that we didn't lose our air pressure here. They held that that down. I took the black tubing. I pushed it down inside like this and worked it down as far as I could get it. And again, the bevel helped to get that worked in, right? Then I took the quick connect on the air hose, which is right here, okay? And I just, I hit it. What I did was I started off with 50 pounds of pressure and it didn't, it not, did not fix the clog. So whatever's in there, it's really big. This is our vanity. I'm going to assume it's hair. It's got to be hair. That's you know, it's just brutal to try and, and clean that stuff up with. So assuming that it is hair, I put 50, 50, 55 pounds of air pressure on it. Did not fix the clog. We uh, pulled this apart. Made sure that we had water still in the system. I went out to the air compressor. I raised it up another 10 pounds to 65 pounds. We came in, hit it again. Boom! It went right through. I mean, there's just no clog whatsoever. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to start to treat it with bleach um, because I'm sure what we did is we took the clog and we just blew a hole through with water, right? So I suspect that the pipe itself isn't clean as such, even though it will drain. Um, I want to clean that chemically, all right, and start to get after it in, in that manner. So we'll start to treat it with bleach and see if we can loosen some things up. Um, I fully anticipate that this drain will start to clog up again. 
Um, so I'm not going to put this together until we've hit it with the chemicals. We'll see and make sure that it still uh, flows properly. And then if it clogs up again, we'll just take the air pressure, do it again, you know, hit it and, and blow our hole through uh, the, the goop that's in the, the pipe. So that was the solution to this problem. Um, this thing actually cost me probably would have been about uh, seven or eight bucks. The problem is, is this tube, I had to buy a whole coil of it. It itself was 11 or 12, $12. So my whole rig here cost me about $22, but I have extra hose that I didn't use. So if you count that, you know, you can use that later on maybe some other project, but really, I mean, it's a seven or $8 fix. We didn't call the plumber. We didn't have to snake it out, even though we have a power snake um, to deal with these issues. Uh, it was a really cost-effective solution for fixing this problem, and we can clear all of the drains in the house, you know, as needed. So um, that's what we wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. I want to add an addendum to uh, the discussion that I had with using air pressure to clean the clog out of this pipe. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that was because some of the variables that are out there in the in the world and. Uh, Let's talk about that for a minute because there were some assumptions or actually some knowledge that I was aware of that I may not have shared in the um, first part of the video. We use air pressure to do that. Um, the plumbing is made of PVC pipe. Uh, it happens to be 27 years old in this house and uh, you know it, it isn't what it used to be let's say and if you get into an older house you know you have other complications and so forth but we're using air pressure to do that uh, to clear the clog and I want to chat about that for a second. So. So here's what I knew going into this. I know that in this house, uh, we have 50 pounds of pressure of water pressure coming from the city. Drains and so forth really aren't under pressure, right? Usually the pressurized water is a copper scenario or some other thing that holds a higher pressure. So PVC just routes the water away. It's really not, generally speaking, used to hold pressure. Um, that being said, uh, it has some maximum pressure that it, it will hold. I also know too is, is that when, um, when engineering occurs uh, for a, a pipe, for example, that, that engineers always give you like a working load and that's how this item would be used on a day-to-day -day basis. However, it's, the product is always capable of doing quite a bit more. A bridge, for example. A bridge has a working load, you can pile uh, cars and trucks onto a bridge and that's its working load. The, the, and they don't want to exceed that. The bridge itself <clears throat> is actually capable of holding much much more than its working load. So that's the same with the piping. So my point of reference for doing this was about 50 pounds. That's you know what the city would provide in terms of its water pressure. So I started at 55 pounds of air pressure to see if I could blow it through. So that was you know the lowest that I could get to. That didn't work, so we went up to 65. I was still comfortable with that because I suspected that the PVC was capable of doing that. You know, if you started to get up into the the 80s, the 100s, the you know the 120 pound pressure ranges, I'm not sure what would happen with your PVC pipe. If the clog doesn't break, the pressure may go somewhere, right? It, it has to escape or or uh, the, the, the plastic itself will fail. So I wanted to add that. Keep that in mind in that you, know, you just don't have this, this carte blanche to just stick as much pressure as you want on this to get your clog taken care of. Uh, so be careful with that. And um, you know, again, uh, we talk about it on the site. In fact, there's a button on the site uh, that, that talks about this is the internet. Um, the things you do are your responsibility. This, the decisions you make, uh, what you do here uh, is entirely up to you. Just because I did it doesn't necessarily mean that you should. However, uh, it might motivate you to, uh, to look at some other solutions rather than calling a plumber. Um, this cost me about seven or eight dollars to make. Uh, to us, it's worth hundreds of dollars. We don't have to use a plumber anymore, but we did it in a certain framework that we're comfortable with, that we know that we're not going to cause damage um, by doing that. So something to keep in mind. Thanks for watching.